do you want to set an example for those guys because they're coming into the league different from the way you came into the league yeah uh one thing i always tell them is to enjoy enjoy the moment i couldn't imagine being that is but we don't look at them as such because they're playing amongst grown men and they look like grown men but mentally they're still growing up and so i just I try to give them life life lessons as a point of dynamics. Like I'm a guy who came in here at the age of 27 on minimum. I'm not saying that they look at it this way, but you know, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole from a basketball standpoint in my locker room, right? When you're looking at it on paper, they don't look at me as such, but I'm also aware and understanding of dynamics. So I stay away from the basketball stuff when I'm talking to them. I'm just, I want to be your friend. You know, I want to be somebody that, if you got some issue, if ever, and you need to call me or need some advice, you can call me. My phone line's always open or whatever the case may be. So uh, just stuff like that. Enjoy the moment. You know, don't ever let up. Keep approaching your craft because, like, I had a conversation with Moody, and I told him, I said, man, you, my teammate, but I got to compete with you every day. You know, there's going to be a 27 or a 26-year-old coming from wherever he played at trying to get into the league, and he going to look at you like, man, this is a 14 pick. I need to take his spot. I'm going to him every day. And so I, I just tell them, don't forget stuff like that. Because if you was on this team last year, I would have came in here every day trying to take your head off. And I would have attacked you every day and try to eat you alive. Uh, that's just me being honest with you because I'm your teammate. But, you know, just approach it like it's your last day because you never know when your last day is. And appreciate it. It's fun. It's supposed to be fun. You work so hard to get to this point. You sacrifice so much. You got to enjoy this stuff. I think it's perspective. I think it's easy. It's human nature to get comfortable. So if you got a bunch of guys in the locker room who, you know, lottery picks, first rounders, blue chips at Kentucky, Duke, whatever, it's a different approach. You know, you don't feel like he needed to prove himself every night and night in and night out. And that brings that intensity, right? You don't have guys like myself who just play so hard because I'm so appreciative for this opportunity that I don't ever want to let this opportunity go. 